Hello, my name is Miriam, Miriam Kerner, and I'm the illustrator of this book and the story of Lady Ida Trombley and her story of traveling to the trap line. And I'm going to read this to you today and I'll try my best with the Greek pronunciation, um, but I also have a surprise for you later on and somebody's going to come and help me with that. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy the story. <clears throat> when the geese gather for the long flight south, and the last summer tourists leave the fishing camp. It's time to say goodbye to our summer home. Nahapik, sit down. Kipitowik, hush, Dad says as he picks up the sled dogs from Dog Island. Papiatak, pimutiok, travel safe, Auntie calls as we wave with paddles raised high. Across the big lake we paddle, bags of flour, sugar and tea, wriggling puppies and nugum, my grandma too. We all go north in our big canoe. How many sleeps until we are home? Nianan Tibiskau. Five nights, mother says, dipping her paddle into the lake. Kigachi Kitagosininau, my little sister asks. Are we there yet? Kigach! Almost, Nukum replies as we carry our packs across the last portage. Oops, I think I missed one. And for those living in the La Ronge area who are wondering where this is, so we're leaving Lake La Ronge and this is um, um, leaving Lake La Ronge at Mackenzie End and the big lake she refers to here. Hello Earl. This is even Lake and then they're going up the six portage route um, towards um, <coughs> the Churchill River. <laughs> when we are when we are right there is no time to play. There's wood to be cut, cranberries to be picked, rabbits to be snared, and the cabin roof needs fixing too. Eros Gigawasak. Get busy, children. We patch, we peep on. Winter will soon be here. Mother calls from the cabin door. When the lakes begin to freeze, we walk across the bay and gather grass to make the dogs a bed of hay. Igwa, let's go, my brother says as they pull their little sleigh. <clears throat> when Christmas nears, we pack gifts for auntie in town. Needlepoint design turn flower bags into fine tablecloths and aprons too. Dad loads his fur to trade at the store for flour, oats and sugar. Cheese gwa. Wait, mother says. Kavida vanegiskisik tea. Don't forget the tea. Kavida vanegiskisik tea. The northern lights are dancing when Dad returns from town. Mido Magosigi Sigansik. Merry Christmas. My older sister gets a sewing kit. The little one loves her doll. And me? That's a secret. But it's made from fine linen and lace. And I'm happy as can be. Dad saved the best for last. Japanese oranges frozen hard and a tiny music box that makes us dance. All winter long, Dad checks the traps, Mom scrapes the heights, and as children, we have our own trap line now. Kanawapambapus. Look, a rabbit. Now Nukum will make us too. We play at the shore when the eagle returns to the river bank hoping to steal the otter's catch. Piatak ita kimitaviek. Be careful where you play, mother warns. Vipach kita midaskamin. Break up, it's on its way. When the lakes are free of ice, it's time for dad to work as a fishing guide. Once more, we pack the big canoe. Kitvam mina nigavapitin nivas Goodbye, my cabin. I will see you come fall. Tansi, nichawasimisak. 
Hello, my children. How have you grown? Auntie says when we reach, us, reach the shore. Bimini quick tea. Come in and come on in for tea. Later we will set up your camp. Across from summer camp at the Mumini Stigok waits for the dogs to return. That's Dog Island. Mido tipiskek nichimisak. Mido tipiskek nichimisak. Good night, my big puppies. Tomorrow I will bring you fish. You can rest now, but when you hear the geese gather for the long flight south, you now will be going north again. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you might have noticed me stumbling over the Cree words and um, I'm uh, from Germany originally. I don't want anybody learning Cree with a German accent. <laughs> so I invited uh, my friend um, Simon Bird to come and uh, explain the Cree words to us. I've tried learning them from um, late Ida Trombley and I'm still learning. So I'm really grateful for Simon to come and give us a lesson on the Cree words today. Oh, all right. Hi, everybody. As uh, you can see, we're practicing uh, social distancing. And um, so what I'm going to do is um, we're going to practice the, the Cree words together. All right, the, the first one on the first page here, uh, this is all written in what we call standard Roman orthography. And we use English letters uh, to make the, uh, the, the Cree uh, sounds and the Cree vocabulary. The first one is Nahapik. 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 Uh -huh. Then you'll notice that the K almost sounds like a G, like a soft G. Uh, if you practice saying Lady Gaga, <laughs> if you can say Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah, no, no, not quite Ga. Gaga, Gaga. All right. Nah, pig. Nah, pig. Um. Now, next word if we have here is Kipi to week. Kipi to week. Kipi to week. Aha. Kipi, Kipi, Kipi to, Kipi to week. Kipi to week. Kipi to week. Kipi to week. Aha. And you'll notice that every time you see a little line on top of a vowel, uh, like in this instance, we have an I over the vowel. It is uh, E, an E sound, E. e. So a line over the I is a long E sound. So, kipi to week. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. The next one is... And of course, this means hush. I have a new friend here, <laughs> best <laughs> friend, sixteen. <laughs> what's your what's Tanche guys? They are such a team. What's your dog's name? Peppa. Peppa. Uh -huh. All right, hey. all right. And then the next page here, it says travel safe. Now we say papia tak, papia tak, papia tak, Papia tak pimoti hook. Papia tak pimoti hook. That's perfect, perfect. All right, and then the next page here, you'll see a picture of Atimok and CC Puck, dogs and ducks. And then it says the Cree word is no gum. No gum. No gum. You'll notice that the K in your book. It sounds like almost like a soft G. No gum. That no means gum. my grandmother. And so uh, Miriam has done an excellent job blending in the Cree and, uh, and telling the story of the late Ida Trombley. And the next word one is five nights. There's Piek Niso Nisto Neo Nianan. That's what the word here we have is Nianan Tipiskau. Nianan Tipiskau. Nianan Tipiskau. Nianan Tipiskau. Perfect. 
So we're, we're as teachers, I'm a teacher myself, and I really appreciate learning different languages. And this is the best way to learn is just practicing with somebody that can speak fluently. And that's, this is the exact same way that I would want to learn um, German as well as English. Even though I've been speaking English for the past um, almost 40 years, I still have a little bit of problems um, pronouncing some, some words. So I have to actually Google it up or uh, listen to somebody that knows how to say it. So the next one that we have here is um, Kigats chi kitagosina no. Kigats chi kitagosin na no. And that means, are we there yet? Are we almost there yet? So you'll notice that the C always, always, always is pronounced like the C in um, church. The C is chunky, right? The C is always pronounced like a CH. So one more time. Kigach. Kigach. Chi. Kitagosin. Nah, no. There you go. And then, of course, we repeat the word almost again, and you pronounce this like Kigat. Excellent. Thank you so much for letting me part, be part of this reading. Oh, thank you for helping me to pronounce this word right, finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then next we have Atoskig Awasisak. Atoskig. Atoskig. Awasisak. Now, you'll notice that the A, one of these A's, some of these A's do not have, do not have a macron, that little line over the A, so you pronounce it almost like a, a U. Ah. Atoskik. Atoskik. Perfect. And then we have we put we pipun. And you'll notice that in this one, the P is almost a, a, like a soft B, like um, instead of saying we putts, we putts, we say we putts. You kind of draw it out and you let it roll off of your mouth a little bit longer. Instead of a sharp P, we say we putts. We Pippon. Excellent. Now, one of the differences for when it comes to a C is if the C is at the back of a word, it's more of a TS than a CH. I hope that helps. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we say Igwa. Igwa. Igwa means let's go. Igwa. And you can also say, if you're going to be racing dogs, you can tell your dogs igwa as a way to let them go, uh, to let them know to go. Igwa. And then the next one here is <coughs> a pick. A pick. A pick. Do you know, the, the K is not so much at the front of your mouth as much it is as it is at the back. A pick. Now, kids are probably going to ask, How many dogs do you have? Piak, Niso, Nesto, Nevo, Nianan, Nigotoasek, Te Pagop, Enanio, Kigametatat, Metatat. That's ten altogether. Perfect. Metatat, Atemok. Ten dogs all right one more time a pick a pick, a pick. A pick. excellent and then we have that c that's pronounced like a ch g squa 
Chisqua. Excellent. And then this one is a little bit longer, so we're going to break it down. Kaweda. Kaweda. Wanigiskisik. T. Kaweda. Wanigiskisik. T. Now, that means don't forget the T. If, if, if a dog is starting to act up, you say, Kaweda. That means don't. Kaweda. <laughs> all right. This one is another long word. And all the Cree words uh, can be broken down into syllables and different parts. So the first one is Medo. Magos. Medo Magosi. Kisiganisik. So we've taken that that second long part and we've broken it down to basically two parts. Magusigise Ganisik. Magusi Magusi Kisiganisik. So that's Magusi Kisiganisik. So that's all together we have eight syllables in that word but it helps if you break it down into two parts and sometimes three parts so one more time medo magose kiseganesik excellent and then of course it's in the next page the what next page is, now what we have is kanawa pam Wapos. Kanawapam. Wapos. Excellent. Thank you very much. Look at a rabbit. Aha. Look. A rabbit. Wapos is? Rabbit. A rabbit. How do you say rabbit in German? Haza. Haza? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Piatak. Piatak. Ita. Kamitawiyik. Kamitawiyik. Now, you say piatak means careful, careful. Ita, where? Kamitawiyik, where you play. Careful where you play. Piatak. Ita. Ka. Mitawiyik. Excellent. We patch. Kita Midoskamen. Now one of the we do in, in Cree we have six seasons and in between winter and spring we have breakup. The ice breaks up and we the Cree word for that is Midoskamen. So we Pachkita Midoskamen means it will be breakup very soon and in this book it says breakup is on its way which basically is saying the very same thing in the book you'll see some of the kids that are playing along the shoreline of the ice almost like now almost we're almost there kigats medus coming kigats almost all right here we have it says goodbye my cabin i will see you again come fall Kitoam Mina Negawa Patin Negawa Patin Nevaska Higanis Nevaska Higanis Taguagige Taguagige Perfect Taguagin is fall time Taguagige means when it is fall time So Kitoam Kitoam Mina Nega, Nega, Wapatin, Wapatin, Newaska Higanis, Newaska Higanis, Taguagigi, Taguagigi. All right, and it says, Goodbye, my cabin. I will see you again come fall. Now, one of the things that might not be apparent um, to some of the um, readers is that we have fall winter camps and we have summer camps and so this is one of their winter camps that they have to leave 
and they have to go to their summer camp most most often in, in uh, larger communities. This is what we call a trap line. Mm -hmm. And Ida's dad used to work as a fishing guide for rats camps in Larange and that's why they would spend the um, summer at Mackenzie End. All right. Uh, you've captured every everything very very well in the details here. I want to say thank you. All right. Tanese. Tanese. Nitsawa And what does that mean in uh, in English? Hello, my children. Perfect. Hello, my dog. Tanese <laughs> nitim. Yeah, and the team means my dog. Be mini week. Be mini week. Be mini week tea. Be mini week tea. That means come and drink some tea. Be mini week tea. And tea is uh, black tea, I was told. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, bush tea is a different name. A wash. <laughs> That's right. A bush tea, the common word for that is. Um, Muskego apoy, common word. Mm -hmm. It basically means uh, medicine, uh, a medicine uh, drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and then the next one, next page. Atim. Atim. Atimo. Atimo. Atimo there you have what we have a word morph is we have the word atim and we have the word ministic which means island so atimo ministigok at the dog island atimo ministic means dog island atimo ministigok means at the dog island so it says here um, for the dogs to return they were left at the uh, dog island. My my dad still does this today, in the, uh, in the in the summer times when he goes fishing, he'll leave all the pups just running around on an island, and he goes there and he feeds them fish and he waters them as well. And then uh, I think this is the last page, and it says, "Mido, Mido, Tepiskisik." Nichi Mississak. Nichi Mississak. Medot de Piskisak. Medot de Piskisak. Nichi Mississak. Nichi means my puppy. That is what we call a diminutive of the word Nitim. Nitimak means my dogs. Nichi Mississak means my little dogs. So that is the word, my puppies, of course, is a diminutive of my dogs. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to say, thank you very much for letting me be part of your, um, your reading. And I, uh, I hope to uh, um, share this with my own kids as well. Thank you, too. All right. Social distance handshake.